Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. I'm currently remodeling a kitchen and I've just gotten a brand new quartz countertop and backsplash. And as electricians, we're probably more interested in the backsplash because that's where the receptacles go. And here is a receptacle box. It's a special kind of box. I'm going to demonstrate it for you in just a moment. And I have a special receptacle lined up to put in there, which I will also describe. So the first thing we want to do is work on this adjustable box. You can see that the box is too far back into the wall in relation to the quartz backsplash. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that right now. Whenever you're going to deal with an electrical box, make sure it's off first. Okay, so now this is an adjustable electrical box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my screw gun right there. And I got my adjustable box just right. Just, just flush with the quartz backsplash. And it's a very nice job of the backsplash installer. Look at that. Look how nice he got that. So here's the receptacle that I'm going to install. It's a Leviton 20 amp type C and USB charger. And it's tamper resistant. You see, this right here is type C and this is USB. And you can see it's 20 amp because it has a little horizontal area right here. You can put 20 amp receptacles on a 20 amp circuit if you like, but you cannot put 20 amp receptacles on a 15 amp circuit. So the type C port on this receptacle can charge a maximum of three amps at five volts. And the type A port can charge a maximum of 2.4 amps at 5 volts. The combined total of amps is 5.1. And one thing that I like about it is that it is specification grade. When you see this stamped on a device, you know that it is a higher quality device that will be allowed to be used on a federal project. It has uh, both the terminals on one side and it has an area on the other side to dissipate heat. These might create a little more heat than a regular receptacle. So you never uh, tape these with black electrician tape unless you wanted to just put some more of the terminals. You wouldn't go around the area that's used for heat dissipation. So to start the installation, I've taken and put the ground wire around the, the green grounding nut. And I'm going to tighten it down. And notice I put wire nuts in the box uh, prior to installation of the countertop and the backsplash. And that's the, that's the best way to do it. it. Just for safety, in case someone accidentally turns the circuit breaker on, you're protected. So that's, that's why I, I have the wire nuts on there. The white wire goes to the silver terminal. And these go right in there like that. The black hot wire goes to the brass colored terminal. Goes in right there like that. There we go. So I'll put a little black electrician's tape over these two terminals only. Not around the other side. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and push this in. I'd like to mention that a common way to install receptacles with countertops and backsplashes is to leave the box recessed back, you know, a half inch or whatever it is, and just use longer screws. And that is not a good idea because then you'd have this whole area here unprotected uh, with the box. You see, this way, if you use the adjust the box and you get it nice and flush with the backsplash, then you see your, your receptacle and everything, wires are all protected. 
if this box is back a half inch or three quarters of an inch and you use longer screws, you have an area there that is not protected by the uh, approved box. Now I'll finish the job by installing a screwless wall plate. Now you just pop the screwless wall plate on. There you go. Now it's time to turn the circuit breaker on and test your new receptacle. I'll put links in my video description for all of the devices and testers that you saw in the video. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.